What you doing? I was doing Titus what I could do. You showing Titus what you can do? Yeah. He seems very interested in it. He likes it. Titus, you like that boy? Look at that tail wag. You love your boy. <laughs> Show mama. Whoa, you're a true ninja warrior, aren't you? Yep. Oh, this thing to do pretty to the. It does do pretty cool stuff. Where's your brother? He's in the house. Why is he in the house? I don't know why. It's windy today, huh? Yeah. I just moved this out of my hand. <laughs> I blew that out of your hand? Yeah. No okay. Farming's always easier when you have helpers. Even if it is the little guy. He sure does make a big difference pushing on this cart. It wasn't bad before I was six months pregnant. I could just roll it right up the hill with so much ease and comfort. But weighing it down with all these pumpkins and my belly just being a heavier weight itself. <laughs> oh, I get to hear it. I'm like, oh, come on, Liam, push. Oh, we got it. <laughs> I don't know what I would do without this wagon. It's been such a blessing. I'm so very grateful for it. It's probably the best. Well, not the best, but we have a lot that, a lot of things that we consider the best homestead tools that we've been gifted with so thank you all right this one's already got a split it should break pretty easy it's a big one. Oh yeah i heard it I think this oh yeah break it good. you're gonna break it good yeah oh, oh careful autumn autumn says i help i'll help Autumn loves breaking open pumpkins. That's her favorite job. Cause she eats them. <laughs> Don't stick your whole head in there, honey bun. <laughs> Here it is. That side up. Make a nibble. I'll come back in a minute to that one when she's not paying attention to it. Get it broke up a little bit more. Watch out, Autumn. There's ants on it. Our regular feed store ran out of hay and they've been saying they're gonna get new hay in any day so we had to go to the expensive feed store that likes to overcharge for everything and it's lower quality can you imagine that like they charge like a few dollars more per bale and it's like this fluffy hay it's not tight and compact it's not green at all it's like very straw colored and it almost almost has a musty smell to it. It's kind of dusty. If it was completely musty or moldy smelling, I would not give it to the goats. But, and honestly, even this low a quality, I would not normally give to my goats, but it was the only option we had. So hopefully they're gonna be restocked today and Ryan can get a new load of hay because the goats are just kind of like coming in acting hungry, even though they already ate it. They're eating it though, so that's that's a good thing, I guess. They're at least getting some nutrition, even if it's much lower than usual for a higher price. Yeah. Autumn has to taste test every single pumpkin to make sure they are delicious before I bring the rest of the girls out. And coming back down the hill with an empty wagon is super easy. So I didn't need Liam's help for that. Oh, oh, I'm not forgetting you. I got your hay right here, boys. I got it. You ready for some hay? Huh? You want some hay? You want some hay too? 
I gave you your pumpkins and your grain already. <laughs> you would think that's enough. Nope, nope, no. Big, healthy, hearty boys need to marry. Oh my gosh. Virtue. Anybody want virtue? If it's a good home that already has goats, he can be available for very nominal adoption price because I want it to be a good home because he's sweet. And if you want him for other reasons, um, we'll give him to you too, but it might be a little bit more. I give a good deal if you give him a pet home. And you might be able to castrate him still. I just looked at the rubber bands and was like, I don't think I can do that. I think that would be a tight squeeze. Other people have done it for sure, but I don't know. <laughs> what are you looking at, Peter Pepper? You looking at that kitty? Or that boy? That boy and that kitty. You got a kitty cat? Yeah. Um, what am I do? She loves you. All right, Liam, what you got to you do now? I'm little, little quail egg. You want to get a quail egg? Yeah. You see one in there? Yeah, I see two. I see two. Good. All right. Put them in your bucket. Excellent. Take that old food. Dump it in there for the duck. And we'll give them some fresh food and fresh water. All right, how many are in there? Three. All One, right. two, three. Oh yeah, you get them. Good job. And I it one back there. Oh, it's back there, not in the food dish? Yeah. Oh, okay, we might need a longer stick to be able to reach it and pull it towards us. Can you find me a longer stick? It might scare them. It might scare them. Maybe. All right. Do you need my help? You gotta be gentle so you don't break the egg. Watch out, little birdie. Thank you. And then you just slide it along the wall. As long as the bird doesn't stand on it. And then you can reach it, I bet. Reach that one. Can you reach it? Let go of the stick. There you go. Got it? I bet you can get both of them now. Excellent work, young man. Excellent teamwork. High five. Bigger one. Bigger one. Awesome. Awesome. All right, we better close that door before they sneak out. <laughs> Not today, little one. What do you see? Eggs. How many? One, two, three, four. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's They're get them. Right in the bowl. They always tend to lay their eggs right in their food bowl. Makes it kind of easy. I've been meaning to add an extra bowl, but we haven't purchased them yet, so. Always got to knock the food out of their water dishes. See if they need a refill. This one needs a refill. A lot of times it's still full and I can just pour that off. But that one needs a refill. We need that bowl for the rest of their food. This colony gets two bowls of food because it's our bigger colony. Go ahead. Come on. They're waiting for their food. Can you empty their food bowl? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Be gentle. You don't have to move so fast that you're careless. You can be gentle and careful still. Sometimes grabbing more eggs is not as careful. Just grab two in each hand, honey. When you try to grab too much of something and bite off more than you can chew, you oftentimes find out that you can't handle that much. That's kind of the season I feel like I'm gonna be in this year is to not bite off more than I can chew. To just keep it minimalistic and empty. Hey guys, I got an extra super big pile of feed today. <laughs> it's mixed up with quail duties, but you guys clean up under the quail cages anyway. The ducks always go under the quail cages and eat through the poop. 
clean out any bugs or grain that's been spilt. So they do a pretty good number with this, what would have been wasted grain because they didn't eat it, but the ducks will. And they got their little water bowl to dip in to help them so they don't sneeze through the dustiness of the feed. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Whew, that happens to me a lot lately. This baby. You forgot your eggs, get your eggs. Yeah, baby. Let me see how many you got today. Ooh, yeah. I think we'll be eating a good lunch today. And I don't we have enough to make a dessert. A dessert? I That's think so. Really I was thinking good. rice pudding. Mmm. Yeah. yeah. It's getting super windy out here. I hope it doesn't sound too awful. But tomorrow is going to be a rain day. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. They're forecasting a lot of rain. Saturday is supposed to be some pretty severe storms moving through, so won't be able to do a whole lot of filming. So I wanted to make sure I got out something today so that you have something to watch this week. My apologies, there hasn't been more videos. I did have to go out of town for a family emergency over the weekend and I've just kind of been dealing with that. and. I hope you guys understand that my energy is definitely lower with the pregnancy and dealing with emotional strains with my family situation. But I'm still here and I'm trying to get more posts on Instagram. I'm even doing TikTok, believe it or not. I know it's for kids, but there's a bunch of homesteaders on there now. So I had to join them and that's where I'll be more silly, cut loose a little more. So. Check it out if you like that kind of stuff.